In this video, I want to talk about what I ate in Poland. A lot of people visit Warsaw or Krakow, but we headed to Wrocław. And I have to say, the food I had in Poland was some of the best food I've ever had on any of my travels. It really just stands out, and there were so many memorable restaurants and meals that I wanted to share them with you, and it honestly just makes my mouth water thinking about it. The first place I want to talk about is called Dinette, and we went here for brunch. It's a really cool, modern feeling space with nice furniture, cool lamps, a bar area. There's a coffee bar where you can get takeaway with freshly baked bread and pastry. I ended up ordering the Norwegian breakfast. It was delicious. I had two poached eggs with smoked salmon and it came with orange, pear, capers, and dill cream cheese. And Mark went with an English breakfast. So we had fried eggs, bacon, sausage, beans, black pudding, tomato, mushrooms, and bread, the whole shebang. And we each had a delicious coffee. And this couple came in while we were sitting there that looked like regulars and they must always sit in the same spot because there were tons of places available but they kind of moved aside the last people's dishes because they obviously wanted to sit in their spot so I thought that was really sweet. The next restaurant was called Jasak i Agatka, I hope I'm saying that right, and it's a cafeteria style restaurant also called a milk bar. And during the communist era in Poland, milk bars were subsidized by the government. The idea was to supply workers with an affordable way to eat a meal out. And the tradition continues today, the prices are still incredibly low and the value you get at a milk bar is just astounding. And as is typical, there weren't any English signs and the people at the milk bar didn't speak English and we don't speak Polish. And so Mark sort of <laughs> pointed at the man who had just ordered and indicated that sort of I'll have what he's having kind of thing, which was dumplings and this kind of cheese fold over and rice with meat and sauce. My strategy was to just point at things that looked the best. I went for what turned into a very beige color scheme on my plate. I had chicken and dumplings, a cheese fold over, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but it's delicious, potato and pierogies, and then I had a little plate of salad that was cauliflower with broccoli and cabbage. It was all delicious. And when we first sat down and started eating, Mark whispered, are you kidding me? Because he couldn't believe, and neither could I, the value of how reasonably priced the food was and how incredibly delicious it was. And the milk bar experience, this was hands down one of the best experiences, um, food, cultural, anything that we had in Wrocław in Poland. And I would highly recommend visiting a milk bar if you're visiting Poland, they had them all over. There were lots of people there and we were the only non-local people that I saw. Everyone just orders and finds a place to sit and enjoys. Being in Poland, I wanted to eat as many pierogies as possible, so the next place is called Chatka, and we went there specifically to get pierogies. If you had asked me my favorite food for most of my life, a pretty good chunk of it, I would have unequivocally said without thinking pierogies, so I knew I had to have as many as possible. And I ordered a traditional pure borscht, which was kind of a surprise because it was just a broth with no bits in it, but it was so flavorful and it came in a mug, so I ended up just sipping it as if it was a drink. And Mark also ordered a soup. His was a goulash, and I loved how it translated on the menu. It said, dense goulash soup making you feel really full after a few bites. <laughs> so when he read that, he had to order it, and sure enough, it was quite filling and delicious. And then we both ordered pierogies. I got them with cheese and a side of sour cream, and Mark's pierogies came with a spicier sauce. And all of the food was served on these beautiful, traditional Polish ceramic mix with patterns and I just wanted to take them home. Next up is a place called Charlotte, which is one of my favorite places in Wrocław. We ended up going there multiple times. This is a cafe or restaurant or bar, depending on what time of the day you go. It's all of those things. They make their own breads and baked goods. I ended up having a sandwich and a latte. I also tried their quiche, which was honestly one of the best pieces of quiche I've ever had in my life. And the granola I ordered another time was also delicious. It was homemade as well. The interior just has this really lovely, relaxed atmosphere and they have magazines on the table so Mark and I would either work at our laptops or just read and kind of sip our coffees and admire the beautiful decor inside. 
I have to admit that when we visited Poland, I didn't expect to have such an incredibly amazing pizza, but we did at a place called Iggy Pizza. I absolutely love the interior decor. They have neon lighting, there's a crown and a pizza slice, and my favorite is a sign that says, save water, drink Prosecco. <laughs> They've got pale pink colors and green plants with antiqued mirrors. Feels like a place I would just move into, honestly. I ordered a tea that had cardamom and cinnamon, ginger and cloves, which was delicious while I waited for my pizza. The wood-fired pizza oven there looks like a helmet if you imagine like a Lego Stormtrooper's helmet. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but I swear, Google it, it looks the same. I ordered a white pizza that came with cheese and bacon and leek, and Mark had a classic with pepperoni and cheese, and the pizza crust is so insanely thin that it almost was difficult to eat, and Mark especially found it to be a bit of an adventure because it was just drooping with all of the delicious toppings. I like how they give you your own pizza cutter so you can slice it yourself, and they said that the pizzas were individually sized, but honestly, we could have easily split one. It was easy to finish though because it was so good that I just kept eating, and Mark always makes fun of me for leaving the crust, but in my opinion, it's about the toppings, so I always leave the crust until the very end, and then if I have room, I eat them, but more often than not, Mark gets to eat them. I don't know, does anyone else do this? Maybe it's just me. Like any good meal, I have saved the sweets for last. I went to a place called Nanan, which turned out to be an experience that totally transcended the food. It's like this place was made for Instagram. There is blush velvet covering the walls, there are gold accents, and the tabletops are marble. The pastries are so beautiful that they look like art, and you feel kind of guilty plunging your fork into them. When you go inside, you pick your pastry and then you order a drink and sit down and they bring it to your table. Mark ordered one with black sesame. I got a shiny orb that reminded me of the apple Snow White was tricked into eating. In mine, however, it popped of the flavor of just freshly picked strawberries. I also had one of the best and most memorable cups of tea of my entire life. I've had a lot of cups of tea in my time, so that is saying something. It was a blend of the Aqua Rosa Kuzmi tea, which is hibiscus, apple, and red and blackberries. And then they added some of their own syrups and kind of secret special additions. And while it was steeping in the pot looking this beautiful fiery scarlet color, I feel like I had quite a moment in that pink room. It just felt like the whole world was rose colored and it was one of those travel moments where you just think like, how did I get so lucky to be living in this moment? And dessert aside, life just seemed so sweet in every single way. So that's what I ate in Poland, some of my favorite and most memorable meals and just experiences of all my travels. Looking back at these places makes me so happy. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.